I'm Joe Fendaro. I'm an endurance athlete. So I'm taking on one of the most difficult athletic challenges that anyone could ever deal with. And I will be running seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. Joe Fendaro is looking to raise $100,000 in this extraordinary event, all to benefit Dignity Beyond Borders. Dignity Beyond Borders is an organization that serves individuals and families that have lost loved ones to terrorism, war, and mass violence. We bring people together and create a safe and understanding and inclusive community for individuals and families. The Great World Race begins with a marathon in Antarctica, then to South Africa for another marathon, to Australia for a marathon, two more marathons in Istanbul, then to South America for a marathon in Cartagena, and the final marathon here in the United States in Miami. Dignity Beyond Borders programs include Dignity in Action. This brings together young people from around the world, ages 15 to 22, who have experienced a loss due to terrorism, war, or mass violence. Working together, the participants build skills in managing conflict, empathy, and leadership. Having it be a global community, young people are learning from one another about their countries, about their conflicts, about their struggles, but also about the things that they have in common and the sense of real connection. These young people are our tomorrow. Women's World Peace is a trauma-informed retreat that brings together military widows whose loved ones died in military service. The program addresses grief issues and rebuilds a sense of safety and dignity. Mothers for Dignity is a healing and connection program for parents who have lost a child to mass violence. Dignity in Action Ukraine for Ukrainian youth displaced by war, supporting recovery from mass trauma in Ukraine. Training opportunities. The ongoing existence of terrorism, war, and mass violence requires a unique set of skills for addressing and supporting victims. We offer training for clinicians, educators, first responders, DEI practitioners, and religious groups. Our world is going through right now is the loss of hope. Hope is that most precious element that I believe when people feel as though their dignity is being honored, as harsh as the conditions might be, they can feel a sense of hope about moving forward. We're really excited because we're in talks with groups in Palestine and in Israel to do dignity trainings for people that are in these war-torn regions that are suffering, they don't see any hope. But when you come in and do trainings on dignity, they understand that they have an inherent right to their dignity, that even though their dignity has been violated, it can be reclaimed. As human beings, we have a mission to help others when they are down, to help others when they've experienced a loss. We are helping people that have lost a loved one get to their own finish line. In endurance racing, I've always lived by the motto, if you want to go fast, run alone. If you want to go far, run together. The same holds true for Dignity Beyond Borders. If we don't come together as societies across boundaries to deal with the human side of tragic loss due to terrorism, mass violence, and military action, then we are missing our calling in life. Please go on our website, dignitybeyondborders.org, and support our work, because we can't do it without you. Thank you.